And obviously, of course, if you take a lot of measurements, you do extensive treatments uh, and treat many patients as you do in your offices. I mean, uh, obviously, it, I see a lot of, of, uh, of, of positive attributes of, of uploading that data so that I can learn from it and other people can learn from it. And going back to that, the portal, Ostel Connect, how do you see the clinical benefits? I mean, uh, if, if people start doing this. Me? Yeah. yeah. Okay, for us it's... Uh for us, it's mandatory because we need to compare in the long term and to share the, all, those, the, all that information to get the scientific knowledge of what we are doing. So the ability to share all that information and to keep it for us to review and everything, it's, uh, it's really important. I think so. You know, we've, uh, we've introduced the concept of evidence-based dentistry. And if you look at most dentists and say, well, how many implants did you do last year? And how many of those succeeded? And the first word out of their mouth is about. No, no, I don't really care about about. I want to know how many. And clinicians have to know their own experiences and their own data before they ever think about making a change. You know, if, if a new this or that comes along and I decide, well, I have to use it because the guy down the street's using it, it's, it could be totally irrelevant. I, I could watch my success rate drop by 5%, especially if I don't know what my success rate is. So in evidence-based dentistry, the concept is to use the best available evidence, and the best available evidence for the three of us is not what I have or what you have or you have. It's what I have for me, not what you have for you. So you, you have to know the information and then when you own information, you look to uh, this other source of information because I think it will be truly valuable at that point. I like it a lot, actually, because I, I personally don't like writing the charts and having something's already there, you know, after the measurements and on the iCloud that can be online, it's easier and faster and can be checked all the time from different uh, devices. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> so it's very practical. I see it's very practical. I would love to have uh, a system that can be customized, for example, because I would like to add extra features, for example. Uh, in terms of tissue regeneration, for example. Um, but then the other point I think it's very important is uh, should be defined also the level of expertise because overall you have some statistics. But then one thing if, you know, the surgery is done by a general dentist, another thing would be if the implant is placed by a periodontist or a prostodontist, so things can change. So I think the level of expertise also should be emphasized in this system rather than putting all this data uh, yeah. together.